What is up guys, they're at hot here and today we have some Call of Duty 4. But um we're not gonna talk about the gameplay today. It's just um it's actually um, I actually take out my M16 later, so it's not an AKU gameplay, but uh Cobbler Sniper actually has a series going on where he talks about uh topics instead of the gameplay. And I know I do that sometimes and but uh his commentaries lately have been pretty deep. He made one about his friend that died when he was eight years old, and uh, I just I can't imagine what that's like, especially for the family. I, I that's just uh, heartbreaking to know that that happened, and they have some other troubles in the family, but I'm not gonna say that because Blaze uh, Blaze shared that with me. But um, today I want to talk about uh, asthma. And kind of how I got it, and kind of how I, I had to deal with it. Um, so I don't know what age I was. I was probably like two, three, four, some somewhere around there. And one night, I don't actually remember this. My mom told my mom told me some of it. I remember only two things from this event. My mom um, came into my room because I had sounds of like that I was like gasping for air like I couldn't breathe so we went to the hospital we she took me to the hospital and this time I actually I wasn't breathing and I remember pulling I vaguely remember pulling up to the hospital in my uh, in my pajamas and stuff and uh, she took me to the ER and I got into a room and they made me put on this mask that was connected to this device called a breathalyzer and I don't know I had I guess it, it open it calms down your airways and it um, basically what asthma is it's um, your airways are inflamed uh, I, I don't know if I can get a diagram right here but um, I'll show you guys for a second if I can but uh, it, the airways are constricted and the breathalyzer calms them down so that you can start breathing again and then there's the device called a inhaler which also opens them up because without the inhaler and the breathalyzer they are still like um they're still like uh restricted i guess or constricted i don't know i don't know the right term but that's what happened and then they put this thing on my finger that checked my heart rate and it's a lot different now, but back then I was like nine. That was like 1998. So, but we and technology wasn't as advanced as it is now. But I remember my mom reading me the Berenstein Bears, and um, I had to do some. I think I had to do some rehabilitation. I don't know. I forget it. That was either a dream that I had, or I actually had to do that. But so basically. Every single time I go to run or do sports that involve running, which is every other every sport basically, um, I have to I have to use my inhaler. I have to puff it twice, and it opens up my airways, and um, it actually does work a lot. Um, but there will be some times when it kicks in when there's just a, a ton of running and. For those of you guys that don't know what it feels like to have asthma, take a straw, if you have a straw, like a normal sized straw, and start breathing through it, and consistently breathe through it. And when your asthma kicks up, it's really, it's a really weird sense, it's not really a sensation, but it's a really weird feeling where um, you're wheezing, and... It, it honestly feels like you can't breathe, even though you're breathing in. It, it, it feels like you can't breathe. And it's actually scary, because um, you don't know if you, you are breathing in, even though you are. It, it's really weird. You can't really feel the, um, the air coming in. And you just have to take a break, sit down, just take deep breaths, and wait for it to pass, and it'll eventually pass, but... That's only happened to me a few times. It happened to me at a basketball practice before, and um, sometimes at uh, other basketball games. Because my main, my sports basketball, even though I'm not like the greatest player at it, but so that's like that's basically all um, 
all you need to know about asthma and like what happened to me with it. Um, I actually did a research project last year and that kind of like broadened my horizon a little bit. But um, I have exercise related asthma. There's there's different uh, kinds. There's actually cold air asthma, so like the winter um, dust and things also kick up your asthma. Uh, what else is there? Exercise. Yeah, exercise. I already said that. Um, I forget what other things like it's it's mostly uh, dirty air and, and shit but um, there are, are other things that definitely have a factor into getting your asthma up and I it, it can go away actually um, my brother had asthma and it's actually gone now uh, it usually goes away when you grow up or when you become uh, when you start to like yeah when you grow up or when you become like insanely fit and just run a lot and all that crap but uh, it's definitely a lot less than it was before I used to have to use that breathalyzer every night and now I just use my inhaler every so often um, it only usually kicks up when I play basketball like when I'm working out at the gym it it doesn't kick up uh, like lifting doesn't really um, it doesn't really get your respiratory system all fucked up because you're not like running but so that's my that's my story um if you guys have uh this problem or not really if you have asthma i guess you can relate or if you have any other uh small illness or big illness uh, let me know in the comments because i i'd like to read up on that and uh, I'll probably put a link to Blaze's video in the description because it's a very good commentary. I think you guys should go check. I think you guys should go check it out if you haven't. But this has been the Red Hot, and uh, I have one more one more thing I want to say. Uh, I am actually recording for a montage. Uh, I hopefully will be getting my PVR soon, and. I don't know when I am going to actually get this PVR, so I'm going to re be recording for as long as I, until I get it. Um, so, but I already have some nice montage clips, so if it's a small mini montage, I'll be fine with that, because I have some pretty great clips. It's going to be, it's going to be every single game that I play multiplayer, and I have Gears of War clips right now, I have Call of Duty 4 clips right now, I have a Modern Warfare 2 clips right now, I'm going to try and hop on World at War, I don't know, um... I might get some reach clips in there. I don't know. I don't really have too much. Um, I don't have too much games. But right here, I was trying to get 30 kill TDM, and there's one kill left, and I get the headshot. Um, but so I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Um, look out for this montage. I don't know when I'm gonna get it, but uh, 30 and six, I think, and I went on a 15 kill streak. So it's a pretty nice game. Uh, I kind of carried my team, but it's whatever. Um, I was playing with a few friends, so, but I hope you guys take it easy, and peace.